In this video, I'm going to show you how to test differences between groups for a given model. Now let's run this model without testing for group differences. We see that ethical concerns have a strong positive effect on burnout. The more you are concerned with the ethics of what you're doing, uh, meaning you think the ethics are questionable, uh, the more you are burnt out. However, rejection, specifically from customers, doesn't seem to have any, any sort of effect on burnout, but that doesn't really make sense. So what we're going to do is test to see if there are differences between uh, different subsamples within our data set. The way to do that is to go to Options, Run, and you do a case selection. <clears throat> so in this case, we're going to choose Gender. And for our data, gender when it equals 1 is females, when it equals 2 it's males. So hit OK, hit Run. Wow, those numbers really changed. So you see now that for females, there is still a strong positive effect between ethical concerns and burnout. And for rejection, there is also a strong positive effect. That's much different from how it was. Now for men, <clears throat> let's try this again. We go to Options, Run, change this to a 2, hit OK, and Run again. <clears throat> and, wow, things change and again, drastically. Um, very strong positive effect between ethical concerns and burnout. But for rejection, it looks like men thrive on rejection or something. Uh, maybe they just turn it into humor. So the more they get rejected by customers, the less burnt out they are. Now, we can see just by eyeballing it that there are these pretty big differences, but are they statistically different? <clears throat> can we get a p-value for that? Turns out we can, but it's kind of complicated, so that's why I'm making this video. You need this value for each group, and you need the standard error. So let's go get that. Let's see. To get this value, well, we've got that. This is for men, 0.621. Go to our Stats Tools package, go to the Chi-Squared Threshold um, tab, and scroll down. I've created a new section for, um, for PLS group differences. For our group one, let's say that's males. Oh, actually, males equals two. So let's put them over here. Um, for males, there are actually 207 males, 76 females. You'll need to know your sample sizes. And uh, that regression weight was what again? 0 0.621. 0 0.6221. And for females, let's go look at it. Um, options run females. OK, run. It was 0 0.295. Pretty different. 0.295. And now we need to go get those standard errors. Now, the way you do that is you have to run a bootstrap. So, generate bootstrap. Remember, we're with females right now. And view your dot out. Make sure it's on dot out here. And click the output. Scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And you'll see this standard error table. We're looking for, what well, was it, ethical concerns on burnout. 0 0.0496. I'm just going to copy that and paste it here for females. And let's go do it for males. Options run for males. And we need to do a bootstrap. Don't forget to redo the bootstrap. Or else you just end up with the same values as before. And standard error, here it is. Re oh, not rejection. We're doing ethical concerns on burnout. Ah, where'd he go? Here we go. And this is for males, group two. Paste that. And automatically, the t-statistic is um, calculated, and the p-value. Looks like these are a significant, there is a significant difference between males and females when it comes to ethical concerns impacting burnout at work. And there you have it. You can do that again for uh, rejection if you like. 
I bet you will find um, statistical, signific statistically significant differences.